serious about innovation? An invitation. Hello there and welcome. I am delighted you found this little recording and I hope you find it stimulating and inspiring. How and why did this story happen? Back in 2013, I was challenged by one of my clients to come up with a presentation that would inspire a different way of thinking. Just a small challenge then. It got me thinking indeed about the fact that it's always easier to hand out medicine and give good advice to others rather than take it oneself. When talking about having to change, how often do we believe it applies to others rather than ourselves? And even if we consider ourselves quite adventurous and creative, both as individuals and organizations, how often do we rely on what has worked for us in the past without questioning? Just let me ask you, you are on holiday. The first evening you go to a restaurant, it's absolutely amazing, delicious food, great ambience and not expensive at all. The end of day two comes round and you look at your partner and ask, where shall we go for dinner tonight? How strong is the temptation to go back rather than risk trying something else, which might be worse. Yet, has not Einstein said, to do the same things over and over again and expect different results is insanity. Doing things differently means taking a risk. If you do things the way you have always done them, at least you know what results you get. This dilemma was recognized by an Italian diplomat, politician, a historian, philosopher and humanist, Nicolai Machiavelli. About 500 years ago he said, there is nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to conduct or more uncertain in its success than to take the lead in the introduction of a new order of things. Because the innovator has for enemies all those who have done well under the old conditions and lukewarm defenders in those who may do well under the new. This coolness arises partly from the fear of the opponents who have the laws on their side and partly from the incredulity of men who do not readily believe in new things until they have a long experience of themselves. Innovating requires taking risks. If you are not taking risks, if there is no uncertainty, if the outcome is entirely predictable, are you innovating at all? As someone who is passionate about innovation, how can I encourage a different way of thinking if I do what we have always done? More exposure to death by PowerPoint? So I decided to set an example in risk-taking and a different approach to sharing my thoughts around innovation and its future. In fact, in order to paint a picture of the future, I went back in time, right back in the history of human nature, to the times where we sat around campfires and told stories. Storytelling is a powerful communication tool, especially in the context of innovation. If we want to communicate something that does not yet exist, how do we go about it? We need something to bring our idea to life. We need something that helps others to see what we are trying to do. Stories are very powerful, as are visuals. Does not the picture tell more than a thousand words? Yet while seeing might be believing, the most powerful world to truly understand remains to experience. I would like to draw on the wisdom of others, in this case Confucius. What I hear, I forget. What I see, I remember. What I do, I understand. We may just have forgotten that the doing, the experiencing of something, is the critical ingredient of truly understanding and internalizing. It is absolutely essential if one wants to go beyond learning in the sense of memorizing, which seems to be the focus of so much education today. So this is what I did. Tell a story, share some pictures, and hope that the insights I'd like to share resonate with you at the individual level. Of course, you may say, did I really take a risk? Let me tell you, to me, it definitely felt like it. But choosing a different path would I undermine my credibility, reputation and trustworthiness? However, as our own behaviours and actions are the only thing we can truly change, I thought, nothing ventured, nothing gained. As a consequence of encouraging and positive feedback, you now see this book, or rather this presentation, before you.
So do join me on this journey into a future of and through innovation and an understanding what it has got to do with every one of us, up close and personal.